Next, we see that uh, in answer to the question, what's wrong with denominational baptism, is that it has the wrong subjects. Denominational baptism uh, uh, takes, it, takes upon itself, separate and apart from the authority of Jesus Christ, in contradiction to the authority of Jesus Christ, uh, to, to baptize infants. Now, we saw the uh, passages, Mark 16 and uh, verse 16, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. How can an infant do that? How can an infant believe? and uh, be baptized. Uh, these denominations that are practicing infant baptism, it's a, it's a man-made baptism uh, because it has the wrong subjects. Uh, also, people who believe they're already saved uh, and, and uh, believe that they're already Christians before they're baptized, they're not scriptural candidates for baptism. They're not scripturally baptized. Because uh, if a person believes that they're already saved prior to their baptism, then can they say that they were, bab they were baptized for the remission of sins? Can they say that they were baptized to have their sins washed away? They can't say that. If a person says, I was saved before I was baptized, then uh, they weren't scripturally baptized. Because Jesus said, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Well, if you believe you were already saved before you were baptized, then you've not been baptized. So please don't call me and tell me that, that you've been baptized. Let's look at what the Bible says. Scriptural candidates for baptism must be able to repent of their sins and confess Christ prior to baptism. They have to be able to, to uh, first of all, uh, repent of their sins. Now, how can an infant repent of their sins? An infant doesn't have any sins. And, and someone's going to call, uh, or, well, maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. I don't know. I, uh, it seems like, like uh, there's, there's a, a problem. People standing up for what they believe. If I'm calling into question what you believe, and you're not willing to study the Scriptures uh, about what it says, then uh, you need to, to at least try to defend it. But uh, someone will say, well, don't you think infants need to be saved? Uh, don't, uh, don't you think infants should be baptized? If you think baptism is for salvation, don't you think that infants should be baptized to be saved? No, I don't think infants uh, uh, should be baptized to be saved. Uh, and someone's going to say, well, don't you think babies uh, need to be saved or, or, or uh, should be saved? No, babies aren't lost. The only people that need to be saved are the people that are lost. Babies aren't lost. Babies are innocent. Babies are pure. Uh, this, this whole idea of, of uh, total depravity or, or babies being born in sin, it's, it's as unscriptural as, as uh, 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 the rapture or premillennialism or any of these other ideas that aren't in the Bible. It's, it, it's, it's not true. And so uh, babies are not scriptural candidates for baptism because, for one, they can't repent of their sins. They don't have any sins to repent of. Number two, they can't confess Christ prior to baptism. I, I have yet to see a uh, or, or to uh, see a, an infant that that could say, "I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God," as we'll see is is the case in uh, just a moment. And here in Acts chapter two and verse thirty-eight, Peter said to them before they could be baptized, he said to them, uh, "Repent." and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so before they could be baptized, they had to repent. Well, a baby can't do that. Uh, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Um, now, not only can a baby not do that, but a person that believes that they're already saved before baptism is not going to repent in order to be baptized and have their sins forgiven. They think that they're already forgiven. And so they've not been scripturally baptized. Well, what about Acts chapter 8, beginning verse 36? And you know the story there of the uh, Ethiopian eunuch. And uh, I talked about this some uh, Sunday night. The Ethiopian eunuch, he, he uh, uh, was going down the road and reading from the prophet Isaiah. And Philip uh, was, was uh, uh, led to him by the Holy Spirit and heard him reading and got up in the chariot with him. And, and uh, the Ethiopian eunuch asked him to explain what, what they were reading. And it says in verse 35, just prior to where we'll start reading here, it says that, that beginning at that verse, Philip opened his mouth and preached Jesus to him. That's all it says that he did, is that he preached Jesus to him. And then look here in verse 36. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. 
And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Well, uh, now, first of all, if Philip just preached Jesus to him, and you look back in verse 35 there, you're not going to see Philip telling anything other than what it says just preaching Jesus to him. If, if Philip just preached Jesus to him, then how did he know he needed to be baptized? Well, they came to some water, and, and he said, See, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And, and Philip said, If you believe, so the prerequisite to being baptized is to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And the Ethiopian unit made that confession. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then it says that, that they both went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, Philip was uh, called away with the Holy Spirit. And the Ethiopian eunuch went on his way rejoicing. See, he was rejoicing after he was baptized because he knew that it was at that point that he was saved, not before. And, and if baptism is something that is not essential for salvation, then how come Philip didn't tell the eunuch here, well, there's no reason for us to get down in that muddy pool there on the, on the side of the road. Uh, if that, I'm speculating that it was a muddy pool. But uh, you get the point. There's, there's no reason. It's not that urgent. Just go on back to Ethiopia. Go on back home. And when you get there, uh, go ahead and get baptized there. Well, that's not what he did. He says, see, here's water. What does hinder me from being baptized? And Philip took him down into that water right then and there and baptized him. Uh, just like uh, in this uh, 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 chapter 16 of Acts chapter, uh, uh, Acts chapter 16, the, the Philippian jailer baptized at the same hour of the night. They didn't put it off because they knew it was necessary for their salvation. This on this next slide. Uh, denominational baptism is wrong because it has the wrong subjects. Uh, the Bible teaches that uh, the uh, baptism is for those who can uh, believe and, and uh, uh, obey. The infants can't do that. Uh, where, the Bible, uh, where in the Bible does one read of an infant or a very young child being baptized? Somebody please call in and tell me that. Somebody please call in and tell me where you see infants being baptized in the Bible. I, I want you to show me that. It's not there. It's not there. Now, you can call in and you can try to show it to me, uh, but I already know it's not there in the Bible unless you've added a verse to the Bible. There's no infant baptism in the Bible anywhere. And, and the Methodists and the Catholics and the Lutheran and uh, all these different groups practicing infant baptism, it's not there. They're doing something that's not in the Bible. Uh, or also, where in the Bible does one read of one who is already a Christian being baptized? Uh, now, now I'm talking to the Baptist, and you know I'm talking to you. Uh, you, you believe that you're that you're already a Christian when you're baptized. Call me and show me show me one passage in the Bible. Show me one passage in the Bible where a person that was already a Christian was baptized. There's not any. There's no. There's no. No verses anywhere in the Bible where somebody that was already saved decided to get baptized. Not one. That's not. It's not there. And so the point there being, if you believe you were already saved when you were baptized, then yeah, I, I'm. I'm very, very sad to say you're still not saved. And you need to, to uh, study the Scriptures and be baptized scripturally because you don't see Christians being baptized. You see lost people being baptized. And so if you've not been baptized because you know you're lost and you need to have your sins washed away in the blood of Christ, then you've not been scripturally baptized. And, and what did Jesus say in uh, Matthew chapter 15 and verse 13? Uh, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. Uh, this denominational baptism, God's not going to accept it. God is not going to accept denominational baptism in the last day. 